Hi, I'm James Schilling Law, and I'm here at ILTM Con. Yes, we're back, and you can hear the buzz in the background. I'm here at the Grand Milia booth with a familiar face, if you've been watching Insider Travel Report, Andre Girondeau, who is the Chief Operating Officer of Milia International. And we talked with him a few months ago by Zoom, and, uh, you know, we figured it'd be nice to actually meet in person. So we're going to talk about what's going on with Melia, what it's like here at ILTM Con, and you'll find out about that and more on Insider Travel Report. First of all, Andre, it is wonderful to see you in the flesh, because, you know, we, we, Zoom is just not the way to go. It's not the same thing. So we're very excited to be here. We're very excited with everything that is happening. And uh, listen, it was long due. It's been a couple of years, so. I know. We all were here in 2019, and then the bottom fell out, and here we are back. And it's it's a pretty full show, I think. It is. It is a full show. I think it's uh, it's a statement of trust in the industry and a commitment to show that we're back, that we're better than ever, and that the whole industry is really looking forward for for the future and with optimism, you yeah, know. And, and although we just, you know, just before this, we had a little blip. Uh, we had another variant come out. Um, how, w from your perspective, from your company, how are you uh, addressing this situation now? Where we're, is this something we're just going to have to live with from now on? Listen, I think there's, uh, it, it seems to be a different point of view, like every three months, depending on how the situation is evolving. It's true that, you know, this Delta variant uh, a few weeks ago prior to Omicron, was already putting some challenges on some of the European markets, so I think it's not helping. Uh, but we do we do hope that this uh, it's winter. Uh, I think everybody's trying to save Christmas, but I hope that as we go into the close future, things will evolve. You know, we've uh, we've had a great experience since the month of March in uh, Mexico, coming from the U.S. customers and the Dominican Republic, and then I think that summer was probably a good summer when you compare it to 20. Certainly for Caribbean and Mexico, because that's where Americans and a lot of people are going, because you could get there, right? Well, Mexico and the Caribbean, I would say, since the month of March. And then I think that Europeans are rediscovering Europe, Spaniards are rediscovering Spain, and this idea of staycation still goes on. So we had a, we had a good summer. We had a positive summer, all in all. And uh, since then, I think since uh, September, Things in some of the main leisure capitals in Europe start evolving. So Madrid, Paris, Milan. So slowly but surely things are coming back. And I hope this is a path into the future. So is uh, 22 looking good? I think there, there are different speeds, I would say, globally and with the segments. So leisure-wise and pleasure-wise, it's looking good. I think we're looking forward for a strong winter on the Canary Islands if all things continue to work positively. We are in a positive pace in Mexico and Dominican Republic in general, so this should be a positive winter season. I think that all things considering summer should be as good or even better than last summer in Spain in general terms and the Mediterranean overall. Uh, and I think that our challenge might be for some of the corporate business and the mice business, which is more into 2023. So our vision is 2022 for some of the resorts, and 2023 for some of the urban mice destinations. Yeah, Let's I know cross you're, you're, you're trying to get in a lot of urban destinations now that you're not in. Um, one of the things I'm, I was curious, because it really has not stopped one thing, is hotel development, right? It seems that, uh, I think number one, there's a lot of interest on in the leisure uh, projects in general. I think everybody realizes that uh, leisure is coming back first. And you know, at the end of the day, for us, it's it's all about travel with a purpose. You know, I think that uh, uh, when you look at uh, the opportunities to reunite, uh, reconnect, uh, reconciliate, there there's so many reasons why to travel with purpose that that I think that there is always a story behind travel, but nowadays even probably a more important story for families, couples, people alone to to travel. So for us it's important that we continue sending this message across that our hotels, the destinations we're at, are meaningful tri trips, you know, and that's important for us. Now any hotels coming up or just recently opened you want to highlight? Well, listen, we're very excited that finally in September we reopen Mi Dubai, you know, the Saha Hadid project that it's going on very well. Uh, just uh, last uh, 25th of November we opened Mi Barcelona which is the first five-star hotel opening in Barcelona in the past uh, 
four or five years, so we're very excited with it. Uh, we are transforming a property in Menorca that's becoming the Gran Melia Menorca for next year. And on the side of Spain, uh, the good news is that we're bringing the Paradisos brand so successful in the Caribbean into the Canary Islands, both in it's all inclusive, right? And Gran Canaria, yeah. So we are transforming some of those properties. Uh, so, you know, we should be ready by uh, summer, winter 2022, each of the properties. Very excited with that. Uh, also, the fact that uh, in Milan, the Gran Melia Milan, over at uh, what's called Palazzo Venezia in uh, Corduccio, uh, that's going to take probably about 18 months, but it's on its way. And uh, we have a few additional openings, Mi Doha and Mi Malta, some point next year as well. And then when you look at the footprint of the company in Vietnam, which is very relevant for us. And that will soon hopefully open up? Yes, we're getting ready for that. So uh, Gran Melia Natran and Gran Melia Cameron are on the pipeline, same as Gran Melia Chengdu, after the recent opening, uh, Gran Melia Chengdu, I'm sorry, after the recent opening of Gran Melia Chengdu. So things are happening. And on the side of the Caribbean, hopefully before the end of Q1, we'll be opening Paradisos Playa Mujeres, also a great project. So we're very excited. You know, we continue with the uh, development and the footprint. 80% of our growth is on the premium portfolio side. Uh, so very excited, very committed. So what, what percentage of your, your business is leisure versus corp? Uh, well, I mean, right now, but normally what it would be? Listen, normally we have out of our portfolio, 60% are resorts. 40% are urban products, but out of that 40%, over 20% is pleasure, right? So it's the Madrid, the London, the Milan property. So less than 20% is fully focused on corporate, which is important for us in the comeback and, and as uh, business is coming back. Uh, and then we have you know, a solid footprint in mice, incentive groups and events. So I think we're... I think they're coming back for at least down in what we were talking about, Dominican Republic and Mexico. Uh, I mean, I've been to a bunch of events recently in Mexico and people are, are going, especially in the travel industry, right? We, we, we have a good uh, RFP process going on for 2023, probably back to normal pace. And uh, there are several events going on in winter 2022. Winter is very close, so maybe not as, as many as we would like to. But business is coming back, and I think we need to be optimistic about it and, and continue moving forward. I think our teams are very committed. Uh, the company is dedicated. And so we're very excited. Sounds great. And uh, now we go out to about 95,000 U.S. travel advisors, a few Canadians in there too. What would you tell them about first Grand Milia and also your your predictions for the future now? Listen, I think positive always. Uh, I think that uh, there's a good opportunity to rediscover Europe. I think Spain, we've said that the last time we had a conversation. So I think, uh, you know, Europe is welcoming everyone. Uh, I think that continue to believe in Mexico and the Dominican Republic. They're great destinations in terms of service, in terms of attitude, in terms of value. So, uh, you know, Cabo's uh, very excited. We just uh, reopen uh, Mi Cabo uh, after re transforming uh, Paradisos Los Cabos a couple of years ago. Again, uh, Paradisos Playa Mujeres. So do believe in Mexico, Dominican Republic, do come to Europe. And as soon as Southeast Asia opens up, uh, we'll be very happy to welcome everyone. Well, Andre, I want to thank you for taking the time. I know it's been a busy time here, uh, and you can hear the buzz outside. It is. There's a lot of business going on here. Uh, we're all ha happy to be back here in Cannes. And again, thanks very much. Listen, thank you very much. Thanks to everyone. Thank you for watching and for trusting Melia Hotels International. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.